Yesterday's story revealed how these Komodo dragons in the morning choose first to sun themselves and raise the body temperature. And once that is done, they begin to move. What strikes me so clearly here is that this is a dinosaur. This is a living dinosaur, an astonishing animal to see in the flesh. Moving, lumbering through the grass like this, this huge form which carries with it nonetheless an innate sense of its power. It is a dangerous reptile. And just to see this inside this landscape is like going back in time 50 million years to the ancestor of this creature and before. And now they start to move through the grass going at speeds of eight ten kilometers or so but this creature is capable of going up to 18 kilometers an hour and that's fast enough to catch you always the tongue testing the air tasting processing that information to tell this reptilian back brain how to respond next fight or flight. The ever-present saliva, just a reminder of the extreme toxicity of this creature. They watch me. I see the observance, the conservation and appropriate utilization of energy, for that is all that stands between survival and extinction with any living creature. One huge Komodo, obviously a male, lingers behind a clump of grass watching me. Then he decides to come for a closer look. I'm astonished at the sheer size of this reptile. He just comes and keeps coming. He stops and looks at me, none of that passion so evident in the eyes and body language of the warm-blooded predators, just an impassionate reptilian back brain processing what stands before it. I decide it's time to back away.